guys, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't do a Sunday, or a sketchbook Sunday, um, this week. But I thought I'd give you the gift of a gorgeous Wednesday. Uh, it's currently 11.37 a.m. p.m. Wait, p.m., yes, yes. And, uh, yeah, I thought, oh, hey, it's almost uh, Thursday. I thought I'd give you a Warriors Wednesday. Or, yes, a Warriors Wednesday. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Today we're going to be talking about not this, but this, this, and this. So I know that there's also, there's also actually, you probably didn't know this, there's another series called Bamboo Kingdom. The third one is about to be released. I don't have any of the books, but I think it's pretty cool. And literally nobody knows about them. Even people who are into warrior cats. But, let's start, okay? So, my opinion on the Seekers, I only have, and I've read the first book. I find it really interesting. Um... Actually, a lot, uh, yeah, but I think it doesn't have a very large fan base, really, weirdly. Same with Brave Lands. I haven't read this entire book. I've read parts of it. It seems kind of mid. I mean, it's okay. So, with the Survivors, I thought it was really bad at first, and just kind of dumb. But I honestly really like it now. So, it might be the case with Brave Lands. I don't know. Um... Survivors had a much larger fan base than Seekers and Brave Lands, but, like, way less than Warriors. So, yeah, uh, these are all the spin-offs I have, or created by Iron Hunter. Yeah, um, I think they're pretty cool. Um, okay, let me just give you a rest backstory for no reason. So, Seekers, I got... And there's a program at my school where you can get free books. It's pretty cool. Called, like, Bookalicious or something. Um, yeah, I got Seekers, Quest Begins, and Brave Lands, Broken Pride from that. As well as Warriors, A New Prophecy, One, Midnight. I got these two from, um, Half Price Books. And, uh, yeah, I'm a little confused on this cover why they didn't show... Okay, so this Bucky... Martha, Bruno, uh, Sunshine, Mickey, and Bella. But I don't show Daisy nor Alfie. I can understand Alfie because, you know, he gets discovered later. But Daisy, I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, if you really think that'd be a spoiler to add Alfie on there, then you should just get rid of all the other dogs and just put Alfie. Or Lucky, sorry, it's Lucky. Um, I definitely watched a lot of Brava. Yeah, um, I'm on chapter 19 or something of this. I finished Seekers. I'm on chapter 17 or something on this. And I haven't started this. So, yeah. Do I think that people should get more into all these books? Yes. 100%. These are just as good as books as Warriors. I like Warriors more, but, and I, like, watch more Warriors stuff, but that, I only watch more Warriors stuff because there's not really any content on Seekers or Brave Lands. But Survivors, there's some, but not, most of it's very, not good. Bad quality flip-a-clip animations. I'm not, it's not a, Listen, not all typical animations are bad. Okay, I created it. Okay, then we're... Let's get back on track, okay? So I think people should kind of move away from Warriors a little bit. I mean, obviously you should go read it. And, of course, Warriors is the main bestseller for Aaron Hunter. So they're, not pro so they're probably not going to make any more Seekers, Brave Lands, or Survivors. But if they did... That would be very cool and stuff. Um, just, uh, okay, I, I suck at this. Um, I, I, uh, I have a lot of Pokemon cards, by the way. That's not important. But, um, yeah, 
Okay, this has kind of just been a waste of time. That's all my videos are. So, yeah. And I'll see you in the next video. And, uh, goodbye.